decided to bring them in. Yeah, just in time for the holidays. Hudson's Library at Berea College invites you to view selections from more than 500 historic and regional cookbooks. And joining us this morning with a recipe from a historical cookbook and the collection they have there is Tim Binkley, head of Special Collections and Archives. We're so excited about this. I've told you I'm Berea's biggest fan. My brother Indeed. went to school there, so. I can tell you're really excited about Berea and that's great. Um, Berea is a great place to be and Berea College Special Collections and Archives is a wonderful resource for studying local history and regional cultures. Uh, we focus on Appalachia and the Berea area and everyone's welcome to come. We, we uh, uh, welcome researchers. Right now we're stressing that by having uh, kind of an open house every um, Friday in December, the first three Fridays in December at 2 p.m. We're offering a program called Peruse the Cookbooks. I love it. Yes. A lot of libraries don't have cookbook collections but Hutchins Library does. We have over 500 regional and historic cookbooks in the special collections and archives and we really want people to come in just to explore that to enjoy the experience of seeing cookbooks old and new for instance here's one of our these older are books so incredible I mean you can tell that it, you know there's history in these pages just by looking at them I mean you mm. can see that's How an old? antique it is yes. from 1846 wow. the young housekeeper's friend the young housekeeper uh, oh friend. that's the name of it the young that's the name of it. it and you know you can learn a lot from cookbooks not just about you know recipes for food but many of them offer recipes for life so uh, tips about etiquette how to set a table how to fold napkins or um, more important things like uh, what foods to make when somebody's not feeling well oh. or what beverage to, beverages to make for the sick or um, some, uh, sometimes homemade remedies yes. for, for cleaning or for health purposes. Um, you can learn a lot of information from, from cookbooks but of course most of the time we want to go find those favorite recipes and one of my favorite mm. recipes is cornbread. Uh, excuse me, spoon bread. And um, the spoon bread I have brought for you today is cheesy spoon oh, bread. Look at it, you all. It's so beautiful. Spoon bread is so versatile. You're right. Some is mm -hmm. cheesy. You know, you can put butter on it, honey, all kinds of different things. Absolutely. You can flavor it in lots of different ways. Uh, this recipe is from our best home cooking from the New Opportunity School for Women at Berea College. And I just happened to present. Oh. Oh my gosh, thank Copies you. Copies of the recipe for you. It's my oh, first recipe ever, thank guys. You. <laughs> People who come on our tours on Fridays will get three cards so that they can copy out recipes from the books. And it's kind of a retro experience, but that's yeah. great. Well, I was wondering, you know, these books are so, you know, they're old and they're probably a little bit fragile. Yes. So you have to be careful with them. So you have to copy them down by hand. You don't get to take them home. Right, with pencil. Right. With pencil. Yes. I find this very interesting that you're putting this push and, and inviting everyone out for cookbooks. What was the inspiration behind that to, to, to make this part of the, the, the history? Well, I tell you what, a lot of special collections libraries um, have this stodgy feeling. Berea College doesn't. And so I wanted to find something fun. And I thought of the holiday seasons. Why not? cookbooks. Why Everybody not loves food. food. Yes. It brings everyone together. And one it thing sure I does. did want to point out um, is the beautiful board that you have this on. And just kind of talk about like the bigger thing behind Berea College that people may not know about because this is made there, right? Um, I'm not sure if it's made there. Mm -hmm. It is made there. Okay. Um, this is a cutting board that is um, sold in the, uh, the craft cabin there on campus where many of the student crafts are sold. Um, students uh, work on campus and they uh, many of them learn how to do traditional yeah. crafts as part of their uh, experience of being at Berea and so uh, those crafts are sold to support the craft program and um, all kinds of um, great learning experiences associated right. with and it. And they go to school for free. Yeah, with tuition paid fully through the, uh, the school's endowments uh, so that they're not burdened with having to graduate with a great deal of student debt. In fact, many of our students can graduate with zero student debt. That's it's what makes so it so wonderful. unique down there, right? Absolutely. You know, Alice Lloyd College in Eastern Kentucky like that mm -hmm. as well, of course. Sure. Yeah. All right, we're going to dig into the spoon right. bread. Please do. Oh, my goodness. Let's get us a little it nibble smells so here. Good. It does smell good. But how good is it? Hopefully it's not too hot. Oh, it's moist. oh no, it's perfect. It's perfect. It, it really is perfect. perfect. 
And you followed it to the T, huh? The recipe? Absolutely, yes. I love it. Now, did you make this, or did Jody over here, who uh, wouldn't come on camera with us, did she make it? <laughs> I made it, it myself. You? Oh, yes. I love that it was mm -hmm. you. Job. Yes. So maybe that's part of the inspiration, too. I not only love to eat, but I love to cook. Oh, it's such a wonderful experience. Brings people together. Real quick, one more time, if people want to come out and maybe, you know, jot down some of these recipes, how do they do that? Um, you can make a reservation to uh, be part of our tour groups. First uh, Friday tours of, um, of Hetchens Library, and um, that will be December 3rd, 10th, and 17th at 2 p.m., uh, and uh, we'd be glad to see you. If you'll register ahead of time, we'll know that you're coming. Wonderful. Well, we appreciate you stopping by, and this really is delicious. Oh, my goodness. Where Thank you. Oh. It's right here. Oh, I got it. Don't you worry. <laughs> we'll